Hello everyone and welcome to Higher Computing for Everyone, Lesson 2.1, Understanding Binary. So the purpose of this lesson is, first of all, I want you to be able to look at a binary number and understand what the value of that number actually is. So for example, when you look at a number that looks like this, you should be able to look at it for a few seconds and say, oh, that's 6. So the way you do that is actually very easy. There's nothing hard about binary, you just have to understand a couple key concepts. The first thing that you need to understand about binary is that every binary number is made of ones and zeros, nothing else. So with any combination of ones and zeros, you can form any binary number that you wish. So the next thing is how do you understand what the binary number actually is? Well, in order to understand that, you need to understand place values. When we count, if I write out a number like, let's say, 329, what I'm doing is I am placing a digit in a column, and each column has a different value. We have the ones column, we have the tens column, and we have the hundreds columns, and so on. So what we're saying here is 300, 20, and 9, and that's how we get our value. Now, this is called base 10, or decimal. That's the term for this counting system. The counting system that we use is based on the concept that every column is going to be 10 times greater than the column to the right. So the tens column is 10 times larger than the ones column, and the hundreds column is 10 times larger than the tens column. So every time you go with a new column to the right, you are multiplying the value of the previous column by 10, and that's how you get your place values. So when we count in decimal, we go 1, then 10, then 100, then 1,000, and so on, and each column is going to be 10 times greater than the column before it. Okay, so that's base 10. Binary is base 2. What that means is that rather than each column being 10 times greater than the column to the right, it's going to be 2 times greater. In other words, it's going to be double. It's going to be twice as big. So when you write out a binary number like this, for example, we can put it in columns just like we normally would. We always have the ones column, and that's true in any base, whether it's base 10 or base 2 or whatever the case is. You always have your ones column on the far right. Now, next to that, we have the base, whatever the base happens to be. In this case, since we are using binary, the base is 2. Binary is base 2. So, now remember, every column is going to be twice as big as the column to the right. So we have 1, then 2. What comes next? Well, 4, because 4 is double 2. Now, why is it double? Well, that's because we are using base 2. If we were using base 10, then it would be 10 times greater. Since we're using base 2, it's, it's 2 times greater, so it doubles. So then this binary number is just simply 2. Because there's nothing in the 4's place, there's a 1 in the 2's place, and there's nothing in the 1's place. So this number is 2. So keep in mind how I did that. Every binary number has columns, and those columns have place values, and those place values start at 1, and then it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on, and it keeps doubling each time. So when you have that in mind, it's really easy to see why this number is 6. All we do is we put it into columns. This is the 1's place, this is the 2's place, this is the 4's place, and this is the 8's place. Well, we have nothing in the 8's place, nothing in the 1's place, so all we have left is the 4's place and the 2's place. So we have a 1 in the 4's place and a 1 in the 2's place. So 4 and 2 is 6. That's why this number is 6. You add together the place values that have a 1 in them, and you ignore the place values that have a 0 in them. You can pretend that those don't even exist. Let's do another example. 
So, I'm going to write out a more complicated example here. Okay, so what about this? All we do is we count, to, we add together the place values that have a 1 in them. So we have the 1's place, that means we have 1. We have the 2's place. We don't have anything in the 4's place, so we can ignore that. And then we have the 8's place. And then we have the 16's place. And then all you have to do is add this together and you'll have your answer. So that's how you do it. You just add together the place values that have a 1 in them. Now, this explains how you can convert any binary number from binary, base 2, to decimal, which is base 10. Um, let's look at how we can add together two binary numbers. So for example, let's say we have this binary number and this binary number. How do we add them together? Well, this is a very easy example because you only have a column that either has all zeros or a 1 and a 0. So here, for example, you have a 1 and a 0. You can just say 1 and 0 is 1 and drop it down. 0 and 0 is 0, drop it down. 1 and 0 is 1, drop it down. 0 and 1 is 1, drop it down. Now, without even converting it to decimal, we, we already have the right answer, and now we can test it. Okay, what is the top number? We have a 1 in the 1's place nothing in the twos place, and a one in the fours place. So four and one is five. And in here we just have a one in the eights place, so that's eight. And we know that five and eight should be 13. So we can test that. We have eight plus four plus one, and that's 13. So, that's how you do this. Now, what if you have a problem where you're adding together two binary numbers and it's not so simple, where you have, let's say, something like this. You're adding together 6 and, let's say, 7. How do you do this? Well, first of all, you can, you can think of this in terms of just adding together the places that are actually set and then constructing a new addition problem based on that. So we know that 0 and 1 is 1. We know that 2 and 2 is 4. We know that 4 and 4 is 8. And then we have our answer. We just add it together and we have our answer. Now you can you can do the exact same thing in binary if you want to have the binary answer instead and we'll, we'll do the exact same thing. We'll add together 6 and 7 but this time rather than writing writing it out in decimal we'll write it out in binary. So we have 6 plus 7. Now notice that sometimes I put a 0 in front of the number. That doesn't change its value. You can put as many zeros in front of a number as you want. It's the same thing in, in decimal. If I write, for example, this, it's still 21. I could put as many zeros before the 21 as I wish. It doesn't change the value. The same is true in binary. So the reason you put a, a 0 in front is just to make it easier to read. So here we have the same problem, 6 plus 7, but we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to say 0 and 1 is 1. 2 and 2 is 4, but we're going to write 4 in binary, which means a 1 in the 4's place. And then 
4 and 4 is 8, which we're going to write by putting a 1 in the 8's place. We've written out the same problem, basically, but now we can just drop down the digits and we have our answer in binary without ever having had to convert it to decimals. So once you are familiar with looking at a binary number as being places that are either turned on or turned off, if there's a 1 in a place value, it's turned on. If there's a 0, then it's turned off. So once you can think of it like that, it's very easy to, to think in binary. If I want the number 8, I just put a 1 in the 8's place, and now I have 8. If I want the number 9, well, it's, it's going to be a 1 in the 8's place and a 1 in the 1's place, because 8 and 1 makes 9. If I want 12, then I'm going to have a 1 in the 8's place, a 1 in the 4's place, and nothing in the 2's or the 1's place, because 8 and 4 make 12. Now, it's very useful to memorize the binary numbers from 0 through 15 and it's very easy to do this. Start by writing four zeros. When you write out four zeros, you that's of course zero and the next number is of course one which is just a one in the ones place. Followed by two which is a one in the twos place and nothing in the ones place and now three how do we get three well we just add one to our previous number two and one makes three we get four by putting a one in the fours place we get five by having four plus one we get six by having four plus two and that's how you do it now notice that there is a pattern developing. If you look at the ones place, it's always alternating 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on. In, in the twos place, it's the exact same thing, except there's two zeros and then two ones and then two zeros and then two ones. So the next thing would be a one here, following that pattern. Um, and of course, in the ones place, since it goes 0, 1, 0, the next thing would be a one here too. Then in the fours place, there's four zeros, four ones, four zeros, four ones, and so on. So we know the next thing is going to be a one. And in the eights place, it's going to be eight zeros, and then eight ones, then eight zeros, and eight ones, and so on. So we know here that there are seven zeros, so we need another one. And that is how you can easily take any binary sequence and by following the pattern you can you can count as high as you want and you really don't have to convert each binary uh, each binary number to decimal along the way okay so let's recap here I know that that was a lot of material very quickly and it actually is not difficult binary is very easy it's at its simple addition so if you have a number like this all you do is you say you have a one in the ones place plus you have a one in the twos place that means two plus you have a one in the eights place eight so we know this is eleven that's all you do you just add together the place values that have a one in them and you ignore the place values that have a zero in them so there you go I hope that helped you to understand the basics of binary uh, I highly recommend that you practice yourself and in order to make that a little easier, I'll give you a, a simple exercise here that you can pause the video and then I'll show you what the answer was. Okay, so pause the video and remember, here are the steps that you're going to do. You're going to first of all figure out which place values have a one in them. You don't have to worry about the place values that have a zero in them, just the place values that have a one in them. You're going to remember that the far right place is always the ones, followed to the left by the twos, then the fours, then the eights, and then the sixteens, and then the thirty twos. So you're going to add together the places that have a one in them. So pause the video, and in a few seconds, I'll show you how to do it.
Okay, so all you have to remember here is that you have a 1 in the 2's place, you have a 1 in the 4's place, and you have a 1 in the 32 place. So it's just going to be 32 plus 4 plus 2, which is 38. So there you go. That's all there is to binary.